Welcome back everybody for a another video by your boy Crypto Holger. Let's get this crypto. Are you guys ready to put in some new all-time highs? Because I certainly am and it's looking like it will become a reality in the next coming days. Bitcoin's potential for a short squeeze in the coming days is being discussed across several analytical perspectives with various indicators pointing towards an imminent price movement. So I put together a summary of the key indicators pointing towards this massive short squeeze becoming a reality. So first of all we got the ETF inflows. We have been averaging about a 100 to 200 million dollar inflow daily from the spot Bitcoin ETFs during the past week or so. There's a notable observation of ETF inflows and trading patterns suggesting increased buying activity, particularly from significant entities like BlackRock, which now holds about 17.68 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin and they're not even the biggest holder. The biggest holder is of course Grayscale's GBTC which holds 21.61 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Let's get this crypto. And while I'm recording this video you can see that Bitcoin has held this upsloping trendline for several weeks now and we are starting to smash through these resistance points. As you can see we did break through the trendline to the downside on April 24th but I don't think we ever confirmed it on the daily. No we had one daily candle that was outside of this trendline but as you can see we smashed right through it again and held it. Next up we have the hedges, the hedge funds that are reportedly holding shorts since April 2023 so they have been short for over a year now. This aggressive shorting juxtaposed with increased buying from the ETFs and a supply shortage on exchanges sets the stage for a potential massive gamma squeeze. Such a squeeze could be triggered by market makers needing to cover their positions as the price of Bitcoin rises, leading to further upwards pressure on prices. Also, while we are on Twitter, make sure to follow me, Crypto Holger, at Rainman Acres on Twitter. I'm giving away red packages worth up to $80 of USDT for free every single day on my Twitter feed. So make sure to follow me and sign up for Binance to get some free crypto. Link is in the description. Next up we have the Bitcoin halving event. If we look at historical patterns, they all suggest a significant price movement post halving. There is an emphasis on the reduced supply of Bitcoin post halving, potentially leading to a price increase. Analysis comparing current market conditions to past cycles suggest we might be on the cusp of a bull market phase, further fueled by a potential short squeeze due to the current short positions held by the hedge funds. There is also an increased interest from institutional investors with mentions of Morgan Stanley and UBS preparing to offer Bitcoin ETFs to their clients. This institutional backing combined with the narrative of retail investors moving from traditional assets to cryptocurrencies paints a very bullish picture for Bitcoin's demand side. Let's get this crypto. And lastly we have the liquidation levels. A break above certain levels, particularly around 69,000 and 72,000, could trigger a series of liquidations for short positions, further propelling the price upwards. We also have the aura size being reset and starting to trend upwards, as you can see right here. To me this is looking very bullish as we can see the price has been consolidating in this range for 
a little over a month now and we saw the RSI being reset which is great. It means that we might be loading up for a massive move to the upside as we can see from here. We pretty much did the same thing consolidating at this level for quite a long time and then we had this massive move to the upside and just because the RSI is showing overbought doesn't mean that it has to come down immediately as we can see from here the RSI was showing overbought since January 28th and stayed there all the way until February 21st and we saw the price go up about 28% then we had the RSI come down again but that only led to a small correction of about Mm, 5% and then we had this massive parabolic move of 45% and then we started to consolidate again. So in summary the confluence of ETF inflows, hedge funds, short positions, approaching the halving, institutional and retail interest alongside specific technical patterns all suggest a strong potential for Bitcoin to experience a massive short squeeze in the near future. This scenario is seen as likely due to the combination of increased buying pressure and the necessity for short positions to cover, potentially leading to rapid price increases. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. <laughs> and just because a small YouTuber like me says that there are a bunch of indicators showing that a potential short squeeze is imminent, don't take that to heart, you know. It's just probabilities, you know, so I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. Never invest more money than you can afford to lose. If you found this video helpful, please leave it a like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also check out my Telegram group. That's where I drop all of the alpha and the projects that I'm getting into first before I drop a video to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, let's get this crypto shout.